Hello and welcome, this is Sver from the Hot Juice support team. Today we will be going through the new swap feature on the version 2 website. Any questions and feedback, please put it in the appropriate channel on Discord. We have made a new one called Swap there just for this feature. Let me start by saying that the purpose of this page is not to fully remod your entire roster. That's going to take a lot of time and be very tedious. There are trusted professionals like Pimpo, Cap and myself that offer these services for a fee. Check out the service tab on the webpage and you can find our information there. As you can see here is the initial interface. You can see a lot of mods which is all your unequipped mods at the moment. You can also show to equip mods by pressing this checkbox. You can also choose to filter the mods by clicking the filter button. You can simply have quick filters here to choose to filter by a certain shape of the mod. And you can choose to sort them as well. The purpose of the tool is to keep your roster healthy. When you find new mods, you can easily apply them to your current loadout without much hassle. Also, it's easier to find where to put the new mods as well. Unlike many other modding features and tools, this tool is not based around the units. This is based around the mod. Other times you'll choose a unit and you'll get the best mods on them. Now you choose the best mod and then find the best unit for it. I'm going to show you a couple of examples here by choosing some good mods that I have in my mod inventory. As you can see here on the screen, some of these mods are greyed out. That's because the tool couldn't find a good match based on the criteria you have set at the moment. We're going to be talking about the criteria at a later time, but for now we're gonna settle with some of the other mods. So first of all, we're going to check out some of my mods here. Start out with this health set circle with a speed secondary. As you can see here, by default, the tool will match any mods with the same primary and the same amount of sets. It will also make sure that you also get speed improvements from all of the mods. When I say it won't break sets, it means that the tool will calculate the amount of full sets available at that mod. You go from two health sets to one health and one speed set, that would meet the criteria of not breaking sets. So we're going to add this mod to my Ray Jedi training. As you can see here then, the mod she had now shows up in the unequipped pool, so I can put that mod on another character. And as you can see, it will show that it was previously equipped on Ray, or it currently is in game. So we're gonna swap that for R2. And then we've made two pretty easy swaps and we've increased speed on both characters. We can take another mod that is a good example. This health primary triangle isn't gonna match a lot of characters. As you can see on my BB-8 here, it doesn't have the same set as his equipped mod, but it doesn't break a set either, so it's going to match against him, and it has a better speed stat as well. Next we're going to see if we can match this diamond, because it has some good speed and good offense secondary as well. Top character is not always the best choice, that is based on the prioritization you have or if you change your sorting up here. You can also click these buttons if you want to collapse the screen a bit more and see less information. If you find a mod that you don't want to put on a character because you don't find any improvements, improvements with it, you can press this button and it will be marked grey on the initial screen. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on how the thumbs down feature works, where you can mark a mod as disposable. So this is per character and per mod, so if I review this entire list here and find that nothing matches this mod, I can choose to press thumbs down on it. Then this will be saved until that, that mod could match against another character. So if I were to move around mods, or if I were to get a, change my stat weights on either of the characters, then that mod could be made available again, because it has match against a new unit that it wasn't before. And here we can also see the triangle that I marked as disposable earlier. We're going to try and make it not disposable anymore by changing some stat weights. So, this is an offense primary triangle with some high potency. I'm gonna try and match that with Ray Jedi training. So we're gonna put high offense on her triangle primary. We're gonna make sure that she matches with a lot of potency as well. And that she wants health sets. 
that is already correct. So confirm those changes. Back to the screen, as you, and as you can see here, it now matches the character, which is Ray. You will also see that the thumbs down is now blue to indicate that it previously was marked as no improvements, but it now it has found a new one. A very big advantage of this tool is that you don't have to redo your entire roster when you find a new good mob. You can easily swap it in and then continue using your loadouts as they are. Once I swap the mod with one of my characters, that, that character's old mod will also show up in this unquipped pool for you to equip on another character. Now that we're a bit familiar with the system and how easy it is and how you can use it just by logging in, we're going to be checking out how you can swap between equipped characters. First you need to check the equipped box and then we can start working. So I'm going to be looking for some health primary circles with a good speed secondary. I'm going to start by checking the circle filter here. I'm going to go into filters and choose that I want to see health circles. Then I press apply. Now I have all my health circles here and they're sorted by speed. I can choose to change the sorting by pressing this drop down menu. Say I wanted to find a new home for the mod I have on my Rex here. Just click that button and then I get all the suggestions. If I were to swap the mod to my General Skywalker, I press the swap button, then I will be prompted if I want to switch the mods or if I just simply want to equip the one on General Skywalker. I can also remember my selection so I don't get prompted every time. I will be showing you a little bit later how to remove that selection. As you can see, that mod is now equipped on my General Skywalker. How I would work with swap is that I would try and work from the top, get all my good speed mods out on all my characters. Right now I don't have many good examples because I've been using this tool a lot, it's really great. But I would try and work out all my good speed mods and get them on pro appropriate characters. And if you feel that you're not getting any progress, try changing the filters around or the sorting. Getting a new view of things might help you. Also, it's a good idea to focus on other things than just speed, but speed is the name of the game, and the game is speed, so you're going to have to be working a lot with that anyways. After that, we will be checking out the settings. Here you can change the unit preferences, you can change which characters want what primaries, you can also change if you're going to force the tool to match primaries, or if you want it to break sets or not. By default, the tool is going to have the auto setting for which primaries match which characters. This is generated based on the top guilds in the world and what primaries they are using on their characters. If you want to, you can clear this and make your own settings, or you can use the ones that are equipped on your characters right now. Looking at my crosshair, this is the default setting. If I choose to clear it, it will be blank, and if I choose to equip ones, it will be the same as that those that are equipped at the moment. I can then go back to using the auto one, if I prefer that, or making my own one. And the changes you make in the settings and the unit preferences, I suggest that you save. You can also choose to filter the screen if you want to make changes to only a few characters or just one faction. After that, we have the prioritization screen, and this one is really good because you can choose in what order the characters are going to be prioritized or if you want them to be disposable. The disposable feature is a way of telling the tool that I don't care what mods are on this character, we can use them for swapping into other characters. Sometimes you might have good mods on characters that you don't use anymore, that's a good idea to add them to the disposable line. Like my T3 here. I barely use him anymore, so I'm going to add him to the disposable. Same goes for Lando Calrissian, Resistance Trooper, and my Rebel Officer Leia. Now, as you can see, all of them are in the disposable screen over there. Going back to this screen, you can now see that their equipped mods are showing on the screen. Apart from the prioritizations, this list is also in what order that you will be see, getting the recommendations for the mods if you choose to sort by priority, which is also the default sorting. You can also choose to toggle showing disposable mods or disposable units in the mod swap screen. After that we have the other tab. Here you can choose to 
if you want to be prompted every time you swap with another character, if you want it to default to always swap with an existing unit, or if you want to set a speed threshold. Speed thresholds works in a way that if you put a negative number there, that is the minimum amount of speed that the character needs to gain in order to swap them out. If you put a positive number here, that is the amount of speed that a character could lose in order to match with that mod. This is a good feature if you're not trying to get exact matches for speed for say a certain turn order or if you're not just trying to improve their speeds but other stats as well. If you checked out the unit preferences you can check out their stat weights as well. This is a very advanced feature so I suggest you leave that if you're not really comfortable with what you're doing. To access the stat weights you press the portrait of the character. Here you can see the current stat weights of their primaries, their secondaries, their sets and you can preview how that would match with the mods. Setting these stat weights is also what do, is determines the strength stat that you can see when you're swapping mods. As you can see here my ray is very focused around health. Our secondaries are focused around speed, some health and offense mostly. Also a few of other stats as well. This auto generation is based on calculations made from the top guilds in the world. And here you can see for the sets as well. And the preview will show how she would match against other mods. Changing these values are very simple. You can either use the slider to drag it back and forth or you can enter your own number. But as always, remember to save when you've made any changes. If you don't like your changes and would like to go back to normal, you can press this button and it will revert everything back to where you started. So I'm going to show you just how simply you can use this tool straight out the box. So I'm going to match, I'm just going to match two mods right now to show you the work process that you could be doing. I'm going to match that one to Veers, and then I'm going to match that one to Jenna and Luke Skywalker. Now I have those two mods saved here, so I can click the save button, and I can see all the changes I've made here during this session, and if I want to save them or not, I can delete either of them if I'm not satisfied with it. Like, uh, this one from Rex to General Skywalker, that was a really bad choice by me, so I'm going to untick that one. There we go, and as you can see that this swap is still going to be left there. So we're going to take that one away as well, and then we only got these three swaps left. So I'm going to save those. I can either create a new loadout, or I can replace an existing one. But I'm going to create a new one, because I'm just testing this out. And then there's a new feature that has been added that is also available in the playground that is push to game. So I can check this box here and then create a new loadout. And the tool will be pushing these changes into the game at the same time as it is creating the loadout. So I don't have to go into the loadout section after this to lower the loadout on my tunes because they're already there. So I can jump back into the game really quickly once I'm done with the tool. And there we go, simple as that. You're your swap mods are now in the game on the characters you choose them to be. That is all for this session of the Hot Yodels tutorials. Check out the tool, leave your feedback in the swap channel on the Hot Yodels Discord, and I hope you have a great time out there. Take care, bye bye.